hello everyone in this video we are going to learn about different types of pattern in solidwork 2018 so let's start click on pattern and first of all we have to choose the direction in which we want to pattern the feature or face so we select edge and now select the feature or face so we select extrude cut and give the distance between each and every hole now select number of cuts you want to produce and now click on okay button now here you can see that a number of holes are created through linear pattern now we are going to pattern hole in both directions so select another edge and select number of holes and give them equal spacing or you can also select up to a reference now click on ok now you can see that the hole created in both directions linear as well as in horizontal direction now again we are going to adding some features we can also pattern the visual effect select visual propagation and you can see visual effect also pattern now we clearing the features we are going to make some changes you can also change the directions of pattern now we are going again going to make changes in this so click on intensity to vary here you can also skip some holes which you don't want to pattern click on skip instances and we can also change the value of each hole by selecting diameter we can enter an increment or not mm per hole linearly so enter and you can see this there is a variation in each hole diameter now we clear the skip instances and you can see that uh, holes produced with the varying dia in linear pattern So next one is circular pattern. So I already have created a profile and body for this. So click on circular pattern and first of all you have to select direction. So click on circular edge and you can pattern the hole equally or according to your requirement or with a degree. click on okay you can see a number of holes are produced in circular pattern now we are again adding some features click on instances to vary and now we are going to vary its diameter you can also skip some holes just click on select hole and click on its diameter and 
enter the value like 1 mm or 2 mm you want to vary your dia click on ok you can see that pole continues going to increase in circular pattern with equal spacing and equally distributed dia so we are again adding some feature and now we are going to modify the dia click on and modify instances you can individually make in changes in the diameter of each hole in circular pattern so here we are decreasing the dia click on ok you can see that a small hole is produced in circular pattern so we are opening another profile click on sketch and convert entities a new sketch is created and trim some lines a new curve is driven here so click on linear pattern and select curve driven pattern first of all select the curve and after that select the feature and give its directions and number of holes you want to produce here you can enter uh, the whole offset from the curve tangent curve and align to the surface or sheets so you can see that changes occur when we select tangent to the face or align to seed and click on ok you can see that hole are produced with the reference of curve now we are going to next step create a cutoff feature with fully define and give dimensions to it now we are going to draw a variable pattern so first of all select the feature which you want to pattern so we select textured cut and drive a pattern so you can see that a table is created here now click on the values which you want to make changes maybe select some radius or increase the number of rows or column a table is created here now we are going to make the changes in the dimensions for variable pattern enter the value according to your need here we are making some changes in the pattern you can also its fillet or its width and click on update for view you can see that a number of cut produced with different dimensions and features now we are going to change its fillet value and again click on update for view when you update it for view you can see the changes in the pattern the second one so the change in the fillets So we can uh, vary its dimension according our need in variable fillet. A number of holes produced with different feature at same time. I click on update per view and you can see that. But for this you have to create a sketch with fully defined dimensions. 
and now click on ok every feature have different dimensions now we have another profile here we are going some first of all here we are going to generating coordinate system so click on reference geometry and select coordinate system select any edge and select the x axis y axis and z axis so click on edge and you can see that automatically system define its axis we can move its in three directions according to our need so we need three axes x axis and system automatically define x y and z axis so click on ok and the axes are produced on edge so we are again to drive a pattern table driven pattern so for this you have defined coordinates in ms word or text so select the feature which you want to be table driven according to your coordinate system here you can see that different coordinate value occur so click on coordinate and click on ok and a number of extrude bosses are produced with the help of table driven pattern